dear students please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture i will clear structure of a pollen structure of a pollen grain or microspore dear students these microspores are haploid unicellular uninucleate microscopic structures and these pollen grains are derived from pollen mother cells pmc or microspore mother cells mmc these pollen mother cells are diploid cells each diploid pollen mother cell undergoes a meiosis due to meiotic division each pollen mother cell produce a group of four haploid pollens named tetrad and that pollen tetrad in which four pollens four microspores remain connected by callous layers and these callous layers are dissolved by an enzyme that is callase dear students that callase enzyme is produced by peptum note down the pollens as we know these are unicellular structures at the outer wall of each pollen microspore or pollen grain that wall is named sporoda not down competitive competitive exam students the pollen the microspore wall is that is sporodum and each sporodum having two layers outer exine and inner entine dear students microspore wall is sporodum and that sporodum having two layers outer that is exine and inner wall layer that is entine this exine outer layer this outer layer which is made up of highly resistant fatty substance and that fatty substance is sporopollenin not down each and every point this sporopollenin which is made up of a fatty substance and that sporopollenin is highly resistant substance it cannot be degraded by any enzyme not down not down each and every point the microspore the pollen the pollen grain and the wall of this microspore that is sporodum and dear students that sporodum that wall having two layers outer is exine and inner layer is entine this outer exine which is made up of highly resistant fatty substance that is sporopollenin and that sporopollenin cannot be degraded 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 by any enzyme as well as this sporopollenin which is a highly resistant fatty substance remain unaffected by high temperature strong acids and strong alkalis that's why these pollens can be preserved for several years this inner layer that is entine and this inner layer is made up of pactocellulose compound dear students the pollen wall the microspore wall that is sporodum and its outer layer that is exine exine is made up of a fatty substance that is sporopollenin while this inner layer that is entine it is made up of pactocellulose compound no down this exine further it is differentiated into two layers this outer layer exine which is differentiated into two layers this inner layer it is nexine or end exine and its outer layer it is sexine or act exine this outer sexine it is further differentiated in one two three layers this inner layer which is a continuous layer it is foot layer this middle layer which is discontinuous and this middle discontinuous layer it is baculate or it is columnar layer and dear students very important this outermost layer this outermost layer of a giant it is tactum now down this tactum which is outermost layer it is discontinuous layer and this tactum 
it provides characteristic designing it provides characteristic sculpturing over the surface of dear students over the surface of a microscope and that sculpturing may be in the form of small rounded structures called tubercles or maybe in the form of fine needle like structures these are spines or the surface may become smooth or the outer surface possesses a network like reticulation not down this outer wall that is exine at certain places the exine remains thin that particular area is named germ pore the germ pore may be rounded or it may be elongated then it is named germinal furrow generally in case of monocots in case of gmes only one germ pore that is monocolpate condition while in case of dicots one two three it it means in case of dicots like gram cis aritinum rickshia three germ pores three germ grooves these germinal furrows the condition is tricolpate in case of monocots only one germ pore the condition is monocolpate while in, in case of dicots three germ pores the condition is tricolpate pollen banks very important very po important each every point pollen banks dear students in pollen banks pollens are preserved here the pollens are stored in a liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degree celsius pollen and allergy in some cases particularly the anemophilous pollen the pollen which are carried by air it means the pollen present in air which enter in our respiratory tract leads several respiratory disorders like rhinitis like asthma bronchitis the pollen of some plants which are highly allergic like carrot grass parthenum sorghum cynodon amaranthus chinopodium etc which are present in air and cause allergy pollen products very important pollen products the students as we know pollen is a rich source of proteins carbohydrates and fats so these are used as food supplements the pollen products are used in the form of tablets or in the form of syrups and these are given to the athletes to enhance their performances as well as the pollen products are given to race horses and the pollen products are also used to cure the nature as well as in cosmetics this is all about the structure of pollen the microspore the pollen grain that is a haploid unicellular structure its wall is sporodium and dear students that sporodium having two walls outer exine inner in time the exine is made up of highly resistant fatty substance that is sporopollenin and that in time is made up of pactocellulose compound note down this sporopollenin it is highly resistant substance which helps in the preservation of pollen so pollen fossils are formed this outermost layer of exine it is tactum and that tactum provides different types of designing or sculpturing over the surface of pollens due to presence of these different designing or sculpturing the pollens can be identified so these are studied different types of pollens of different families and their structures are studied by 
their sculpturing. That study is named palynology. This is all about the pollen structure, pollen banks, pollen allergy, pollen